Hey guys, what's going on? Sorry it's been a day since I posted. The weather's been atrocious for us. Still pretty gnarly here, actually. Um, and so I didn't get a chance to do anything uh, yesterday. That being said, let's go back and do it today. So here we go. We've been talking about doctrine. What are doctrine? Doctrine are the essentials to what it means to be a Christian. This is what you believe um, to follow to follow Jesus, to call yourself a Christian. You have to believe certain things. And that's not being legalistic or closed-minded. That's just how the world works. If you take away something, when do you lose what that thing is? So the example I used last time, which I think is probably the best, is a stop sign. Now, you can take some things away from a stop sign, and there are things that people disagree about, and they're still Christians, and how they think things uh, talk about the Bible and, and how what they believe about God. So let's take our example of a stop sign. If you take an octagon that's red, has the word stop, your normal stop sign, let's say you take the word stop off of that. Is it still a stop sign? I think probably. People would still stop if they saw a sign that looked like that but didn't actually have the word. They'd still stop. Um, but... If you made that sign yellow and then changed it from an octagon and made it uh, a triangle and took the word stop off of it, is it still a stop sign? I don't think so. You lose something there. As you start to take away, there are certain things that are at its essence what makes that thing what it is. And in beliefs, we call those doctrines. And so in Christianity, we call those doctrines. So we're talking about these things that are essential to believe in Christianity. And today, we are still talking about the good news of Jesus Christ. Last time, He, the God of the universe, coming down to be like you and me, putting on flesh. He was 100% God, 100% man. I don't know how He does it. He's God. He can just rework even logical statistics like that. Okay? Today, we're talking about the cross. The good news that this God died. And the reason he died is because we are sinners. When we sin, what sin is, is a sin is a rebelling against God. It's a pushing away of who God is. And God is reality. God is life. To break yourself away from the power source of who God is, is to kill yourself. It just, that's the way it is. It's almost like when you unplug something from a wall, maybe that thing has a light on the end of it. So that way you know if it's charging, if you've got like a charge or something. And when you unplug from that wall, Sometimes that light doesn't immediately goes off, but you see it start to fade over about half a second or a second's time. And so when we unplug from God, we, as humanity and individually, when we sin, we put ourselves on a trajectory for death and for non-existence and for hell. And that had to be paid. That had to be reconciled. That had to be made right. And so... The God of the universe, the only one who could plug us back up into that reality, who stayed plugged into that reality. He came and he died for us, giving us his power in Jesus Christ. Christ dying on the cross, the perfect God of the universe for us sinners. Have a good one.